this trail. I've never skied something like this before. It's so cool, man. Good morning, guys. I'm back out here with my cousin Will. We're hiking up Mount Musalak in New Hampshire this time. Unlike Greylock, this isn't actually a ski trail. It's a carriage road, which I guess was made for animals, but people ski on it now. It's about five miles. Hasn't been very steep so far, but it's supposed to get steeper at some point. Since the last time, I bought this backpack that makes carrying my skis a lot easier. Um, yeah, it's just so much more comfortable for me. But Will bought some torrent skis, so he's actually way more prepared than I am. A lot of this trail isn't too steep, but it's all very narrow. But this part is pretty steep and, and narrow. The trail's gotten really pretty up here. Let's walk through this pine forest. I just remember the Appalachian Trail goes up this mountain too. So it's about 200 miles north from where we were at Greylock a few, a few weeks ago. That's kind of cool, I think. Also, it's snowing. Whoa! That was really deep. It's gotten a lot colder and, and windier as we get up there. We stopped for lunch, that, that cooled me off a lot. We didn't really get a tree line. We're not sure if we'll go above the tree line too much just because we can hear the wind just howling above us. It'll be really cold. And probably the scene isn't that great up there. It's pretty blown off by the wind. We're bundling up for the final, the final push of the summit. <laughs> What are those trees weighing? Gnarly up here. It's really opening up up, up here. Super, super duper windy. We're also gonna turn, turn back about a half mile from the summit because it's super cold and windy and not much skiing up there anyway. Right in the switch to downhill, about a half mile below the summit. Um, yeah, Will's taking the skins off so he can ski down. I'm putting my my skis on. There's a lot of snow on my boots, unfortunately. It's probably for the best we didn't go to the top. It's completely wide out, I assume. It is here. It's so easy to get speed on this. Yeah. Too much speed. Our tracks from the way up are almost from 
completely covered now. Not so much here on the wind, on the higher up they were. This trail, I've never skied something like this before. So cool, man. We gotta watch out for people coming up this trail too. Like we were just doing obviously. My water's frozen. A little bit. flat here and some uphill even. All right, so we're back at the car. Um, yeah, the way down was interesting. It was really narrow. I really enjoyed the top part where it was just going through those narrow pine trees. Then towards the bottom, it became pretty flat and there was a lot of uphill. So we set off our skis and to watch them. That was a little less fun. Compared to the Thunderbolt Trail, I would say the uphill was more fun here because it's just a bigger mountain. The downhill is probably more fun of the Thunderbolt Trail though. So my GoPro died on me, but Basically what I was getting at is if you don't like a trail where you can't really fit your skis sideways, it's that narrow, then you might not enjoy the Mount Musalot carriage road. Thank you if you've made it this far. I'll see you in my next adventure. We're looking to do Tuckerman's Ravine at some point this spring. Alright, bye!